So today we're going to do shading and we're just going to do a couple of simple shapes. So I'm going to start, I thought that choosing this white ball, so your white on white, would be one of the better ways to start showing you how to do this. So when we look at this ball, you notice that the light source is up here and so it's much lighter and then the ball gets darker here, but it's still white. So we're going to try and create that on our sketch paper today in the practice for getting ready to go final copy with our still life design. So here we are going to make a circle and you're going to shade your circle. So how you do that is you're going to push harder on the edge where the darker part is. And then you're going to lighten up your pressure and also move the lines further apart. The closer the lines are, the darker your coloring will be. And the further apart they are, the lighter it will be. So I can control it by pressure, pushing harder, right? So if I have my pencil and I push hard, I get a very dark line. If I push lighter, I get a lighter line. If I go close together, filling it in, I get dark. But if I lighten up, in my pressure I can get lighter. I can also go dark by putting them closer together. If I fill in lines going both directions, up and down and sideways, if I go lighter, giving white space in between, this is called cross hatching, where your lines go in different directions and the idea is you're filling up different amounts of paper so that the white space or the color of the paper doesn't show through. It gets darker if you are filling the whole space with lines in both directions. So thinking that way, that's how we are going to create our sphere. That's our three-dimensional ball. You guys learned about that way back in kindergarten when you did your shape museums. And we had different shapes that you learned about for math. Well, here's our three-dimensional circle, which is a sphere. And to make it look three-dimensional in drawing is a little bit trickier than just labeling it. So now we're pushing hard and I'm filling in my lines on the shadow because this is the part, the light doesn't come to this part. The light is up here and the sides of the ball shade it so we can't see it. Look, it's even more when I put my hand on the side so I don't get the indirect light that's coming from other locations. See how dark it is over here because the light is not over there. So this, because my light source is on the top, I'm going to make the edges much darker and then I'm going to blend my color lighter and lighter as I go toward the center where my light source is and in the light in the metal you can almost see they say that it um, it's almost kissed by the light right it's just a little bit of extremely light color and that happens when we have a light source that is very bright on a certain surface and it's going to bounce off of that surface the light and so it's very bright so we're filling in the sides and then I'm going to slowly blend it. And another way you can do this, because I'm using a pencil, we all know that pencils will smear. That's how our hand gets so dirty. Look at the graphite all over my hand. All right, so another way you could do that is with your fingers. You can control it by blending it a little bit with your fingers, as well as the amount of pressure you use. So I'm going to have you shade the ball just like I'm doing. But then I'd like you to try and apply this concept to another surface. Pick something else. Are you going to pick a, something simple? Don't make it too difficult. A simple shape that you can find. Maybe a glass, a bottle. Um, you choose what the object is, but make it a simple one. Put it on a area where there aren't too many things going on. There's not much happening and that you have a good light source. Remember that if the light source is on the top, like we have here, that it's going to fill in and we're gonna have our light here. Now, if I was looking at it from another angle, I'm going to try and change my camera angle 
and I'll show you how it might look at a different angle. Hold on. See how different it looks when I move my camera angle to the side? The light is still on the top. I have my light source on the top, so it's sun-kissed here. But then my ball gets darker as we go down to the sides. It's still reflecting some light because I have a white base behind it. But still, the darker parts are here. So think about where your light source is and then color and draw color in using your pencil draw your shape and then add your details as to where we see the light and the dark i look forward to seeing your sketches